U.S. President Donald Trump has warned Iran of consequences if it threatened the U.S. Addressing the press after meetings with French President Emmanuel Macron, the two leaders also said that they have agreed to work out a new nuclear deal with Iran. Now, while Trump continued to be tough on Iran, saying that Iran cannot be allowed to develop nuclear weapon, Macron admitted that he had differences with Trump on the issue. However, he said that the deal was not sufficient and there was need to work out a new, a new deal. France and the United States also agree that Iran cannot be allowed to develop a nuclear weapon. And that regime must end its support of terrorism. All over, no, where, no matter where you go in the Middle East, you see the fingerprints of Iran behind problems. We therefore wish from now on to work on a new deal with Iran. What we need, and I believe that on that, our discussions allow us to shed light on our le premier, convergence of views, is that we need to cover four topics. The first one is to block any nuclear activity of Iran until 2025. This was deuxième, feasible thanks to the GCPOA. The second is to make sure that in the long run there is no nuclear troisième Iranian activity. The third fundamental topic is to be able to put an end to the ballistic activities of Iran in the region. And the fourth one is to generate the conditions for a solution, a political solution, to contain um, Iran in the region, in Yemen, in Syria, and Iraq, and in Lebanon. Meanwhile, Russia is asking UN member states to back a draft statement expressing unwavering support for the Iran nuclear deal. Russia's arms control envoy told a UN non-proliferation conference in Geneva that the Iran deal, known as the JCPOA, was fragile and any attempt to amend it would affect the global non-proliferation regime. И мы призываем всех наших коллег в этом зале сегодня не отмалчиваться в расчете на то, что ситуация каким-то образом уладится сама собой, а предпринять конкретные, серьезные усилия по сохранению плана действий. Well, we spoke to Kevin McAleese from Washington, D.C. Listen in. Certainly over the Syrian strikes, a joint effort between uh, Washington uh, and Paris, uh, they were on the same page uh, politically and strategically uh, going after Assad's chemical weapon infrastructure. They don't seem to be on the same page when it comes to the future of the, uh, the Iran nuclear deal. And that's really the elephant in the room with these two leaders. And that's the mission that Macron has brought to the White House to try and sort of work as a spokesperson on behalf of Europe uh, to some extent to try and convince this president of the United States not to kill a deal that today just uh, minutes before they stepped out together for this part of this uh, the first state visit by a foreign uh, head of state to uh, the Trump administration, the Trump presidency, saying um, uh, he called it insane. He called it ridiculous. He described it as a terrible deal and it should never have been made. So if Macron was looking for some sort of fig leaf uh, or way into negotiating, that's a pretty poor start.